This season, Terrier Nation features a new segment on the men's hockey team. For the inaugural installment of the Penalty Box, Terrier Nation's Leah Poyne has the season scoop from Aganis Arena. Take 80,000. <laughs> well, they're the most talented team in the nation. Everybody says that. Uh, well, last season may have been one to remember. The men's hockey team is working hard to focus on the future. Now that the banners have been raised, the 2009-2010 captains discuss how they plan to build off of last season's success. Well, we're not going to downplay last season. That was just, just an awesome experience. But we need guys to, to look forward instead of looking back. And it's tough to do. I mean, you come to the rink and it's everywhere. Every question you get asked, everything you see is about last year's, you know, miraculous comeback. So it is going to be a challenge, but as long as, you know, we keep preaching it, and I think the guys on the team know that they can't, you know, look back. They're going to have to focus forward, and I think we have the guys who are capable of doing that. Leading the Terriers this season is junior defenseman Kevin Chattenkirk, the first junior captain since Jack O'Callaghan in the 77-78 season. We had met Jack O'Callaghan last year and just seeing how passionate he was for the game and, and still is and for BU hockey really, you know, fills me with, with a sense of, you know, honor and, and forces me to, to kind of really step my game up that much more when, you know, you're mentioned in the same breath as him. So, you know, it, it means a lot to me to be, to be named as a junior captain and hopefully I can represent it as well as he did. Even though the team is only returning one of its top six forwards from last season, offense wasn't a problem in the first two exhibition games as the Terriers put up a combined 95 shots on net. I know we were able to get shots to the net and uh, they'll start going in, but we have guys in forwards who, like I said earlier, didn't play a lot last year who have an opportunity now to get a lot more ice time and play a bigger role. Even defensive enforcer Eric Griba thinks he might be able to help the offense out as well. I am going to score a goal this year. I got a feeling. I almost had one the other night. It was close. It's going to happen. My mom told me it's going to happen this year, so I'm real, real excited. I believe her. The Terriers' schedule this season is packed with highly anticipated games, including a Madison Square Garden matchup with Cornell and an outdoor game at Fenway Park against crosstown rival Boston College. But even with these exciting games on the schedule, the captains realize that the team must focus on one game at a time. And we just got to keep guys going forward, looking forward, and uh, keeping the eye on the prize, whichever it is, whether it's Bean Pot or Hockey East or the National Championship. The Terriers open their season on October 16th as they travel to UMass Amherst to face the Minutemen. They then return home to Aganis Arena to play Notre Dame and defend their national title. For Terrier Nation, I'm Leah Poyne. Thanks, Leah. We'll be looking forward to more from the penalty box.